All right, guys, I dug a little deeper here, and I think I found the problem. This is just a reassurance of what I thought before. So this looked a little trashed. Guys, that is burnt. This is a very typical issue on uh, this three-wire setup, as I told you before. Look, these wires, that is all burnt. That is messy. So uh, I'm going to get out, cut these wires straight off, connect them straight up, and actually, I could probably just pull that off. Okay, what do we do? Nip these guys off. Make sure we get... There we go. Make sure we get the uh, junk wires cut out of here. Just gonna knock this off right here. That's not gonna work. Right here. Couldn't find my my nip tool. So, let's get this crap off here. Yeah, this one's not great. Oh, there we go. Okay. We'll cut this sheeting back with the exacto. Now, we're just going to nip this off and get more wire here. There we go. Now, I could probably pull these out of the back. But use this just cut them here always looks easier on TV right two hands there's two of them there's a third one okay so cut that right off there pull back this tape which will reveal perfect amount of space Now all we need to do, pull that sheet off. Let me cut this off, clean up what's there. Be back with you in a minute. So this is looking like 18 gauge wire. It's gonna get in here, chop it with 18 gauge, pull it. That'll pull the outer covering off. There we go. Got three clean wires to work with. Now I'm gonna do that to the other side. See, I just cut this back to give me more room to work. I'm gonna do this on the other one. Okay, I got a little aggressive here. <laughs> these, these wires might be 16 gauge, but uh, I cut off too many of the wires here. So I'm gonna cut this back a little more so I have a full grab. These still look a little burnt, and I don't love that. So I'm gonna cut that, cut these all back to about the same place here, and then I can join them up and uh, be confident that we're gonna carry full power. Just to do a preliminary test before we hook all this up, just to prove to ourselves that we actually have a good stator. We're on the lowest ohms, lowest resistance. So all I'm gonna do is run one lead between each of these wires and it should be roughly that it should be about 0 0.9 0 0.7 something like that and they all need to be equal I just switched the leads and let's check this one yet they're all perfect so that tells me that the stator is good. We're not grounding to anything and getting a signal. So I'm happy. We'll uh, hook this up and we're probably good to go. I'll show you quick what I'm using here. These are electrical connectors. Um, they are watertight heat shrink. So what you can do is shrink down this with heat, with a heat gun or something. And uh, just be careful not to burn your wires again but you crimp them in the middle i'll show you here one wire goes in that end one wire goes in that end so that metal conducts the electricity back and forth and then of course you heat it down so i like to stick them in be very careful that they're in there and connected and then use a vice grips and just crimp them down one on this end one on that end and one in the center <coughs> excuse me so that's what we're doing. 
gonna connect the other two and it doesn't matter which one's which they all carry the same current if everything's working properly and they all do the same thing so i'm gonna work on getting the other two done well guys got all these guys made it up here and uh we definitely still have the carb issue i'm running berryman v12 through it see if they can clear it up but if it's not going to start without starting fluid we definitely need uh the idle choke it's got to be gone through so unfortunately it's going to need a carb clean which if that was the only thing in the beginning that would have been great but i've had to do all these other things so let's see what we're doing on the charging system here see she's not she's just weak i don't know she's just weak so um this is the battery charging right now that's where the battery voltage lies so let's see with a little bit of revving she's picking up so that's a good sign we're up in the 13s so that's a real good sign charging system is working and I can uh, heat shrink these down with the heat gun see now she shut off she's probably overheating a little bit I don't know uh, I didn't see the template come on but I'm assuming I didn't hear a fan kick on anyway we'll heat shrink these down with the heat gun just so these ends clamp down over the wires so they're nice and dry and then I will follow up with some electrical tape. I'll tuck these wires in here. And then we could probably throw the side covers on. I might try and take this for a ride and see if uh, we can work out some of the issues of it not wanting to run completely before I take the carbs out. Because then I gotta take the tank off again and all that good stuff, which it's gonna happen. So anyway, that's how you fix the uh, burnt stator wires. That's how I do it anyway. And uh, looks like it's working. So I'll catch you on the next one. Right now the battery's sitting at 1239. And you saw it go up when we revved it. So I believe the stator is working. So have a good day. Thanks for following along. Subscribe and check in for more on this beautiful shadow. done.